Okay. Mm, I think we're gonna be reaching the borders of the world soon, right? Can we visit this entire area here? I know we can visit stuff here, because there's things here, but here... There's nothing. Okay. Okay, new plan. How about we go here, and then we wrap back around here, take the boat, and then get back to the auction thing. Originally, we were gonna go down here, but going up kinda works too. Yeah? Oh! Daytime, please. Beautiful shining sun once again. The best way to travel. Now what's going on over here? Oh. Knight errant in distress. Oh! What? Oh! Hold on! We gotta make sure he doesn't die, right? You gave me! He comes! Oh! Did I really? <laughs> oh! Take cover! Oh! Hello? Oh, that was close. You came to my aid in the nick of time. I thank you, friend. No worries. No worries. The duchy as a whole oh. suffers from a disconnect mm -hmm. with reality. Oh. I'm a little bit surprised he's aware of that. The duchy as a whole suffers from a disconnect with reality. Orders for Edgar Casodo Casodots? The duchy as a whole <laughs> suffers from a disconnect. With Did you just reality. see that guy's head roll around? Oh my god. To Edgar Casodots? How the hell do you say that? I'm sending you one of those miscreant knights. This particular blood shrek attacked our lads near Fox Hollow, sent six of them and one dog off to push daisies. I was about to hack him apart on the spot, then I thought. This harlot's brood deserves a more thorough hacking than I can give. So use those famous scissors of yours and trim him of all protuberances and danglies, then cut him his innards and make origami. Just be sure to tie him up good before you get to work. Even with his hands tied, that maggoty mutt swung so hard, teeth came pouring out of Bulov's jaw like crowns spilling from a full pouch. Law. Wow, you really pissed off some people, didn't you? Eek. The duchy as a whole <laughs> suffers from a disconnect with reality. So this is kind of like a, a person in distress. Why do you all have so many onions? Okay, that's cool, I guess. We did a good thing today. But there's something else here. What? Oh, there's more people here. It's not allowed. That kind of beating feast is over. <laughs> Circle him. Shut Circle up and fight. Him. See if I can get him with my fists. I might be able to. Hold on. Let me make sure I get the other one first. You reek like Hang on, buddy. Let me deal with this one guy first. Are these with the people that we just killed? I guess so, but uh, for some reason they were sitting all the way out here and not really helping out anybody. Oh, hold on. I am I Do you want to try to get them to shoot each other? Circle him. Circle him. Oh, I gotta be careful about my own health though. Oh, I didn't get him! By the way, ding -a -ling, deadly counter! Ding -a -ling, ding -a -ling. That's enough of that. Yes! Under 25% health means instant counter. I haven't really parried all that much, so I've never really got to... trial the technique until now. Instant finishers. Not bad, not bad. Most people can be parried, so for these regular people, it would be better for me to um, try to do the finisher. 
Although it does take a bit of timing and you know what I like. Usually I just go slash 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 and that's it. Hey Knight, I think you should be leaving here because these people are pretty much out for blood. And it seems like they've gone a lot of some other knights already. Not a safe spot at all. Okay. Oh, was I gonna go here? No, I think that's getting a little bit too far. Maybe we'll save that for another trip. Let's head off to the boat area then. Maybe I'll get this one since it's kind of along the way. This quest has a lot of markers on the map. If you look at the mini-map, there's like 20,000 things happening at the same time. So it's easy to get distracted. Get up. Oh, look at these nice rolling hills. What's the uh, house? I'm too old to wander the world. Oh. What a tease. We can't go to the house. It's okay. I'm just traveling here because I wanna... I wanna go to the green. Which is another house? Hey there. Is it a uh, town or cemetery? Elven ruins? What is this place? Prophet Lebiota Monument. Prophet Lebiota? Was that what the people were trying to... Oh! The one down there? Wow. Hold on. That's not what I'm here to do, though. There is another question mark all the way over here. Probably where the boat is. But right below us, there is some kind of construction going on here. A statue of Prophet Lebiota? Probably related to the people that we just saved earlier. Hello? Damn, lots of them. That's a lot. The feast is over. The ducks. I despise sorcery. Shit. Whoa! We have to be a little bit careful here, because there's actually a lot of people, and they hit hard. Guardsman! He's stubborn act! Oh no! See, in these kind of situations, we don't really have time to parry people. What is that status symbol effect that we keep giving to the people here? Yeah, that one. Oh, that must be deadly counter. When their health goes down that low, it's possible for us to counter them. That's what it's saying, right? I think so. But yeah, if I'm already striking them, then there's really not a point for me to um, slow down just to do deadly counters. Damn. Not good. Here we go. Yes. One second. Hey, these guys have Beauclair steel swords. Please don't tell me you guys were knights errant once upon a time. That would be really sad. But why even bother? What did they hope to steal? Hammers? A hunk of stone? I see. All right. High time I set off. That conversation didn't seem to really match. <laughs> So cute! So we ran into another group here for big feats of fill, which has to do with a monument. Oh, they put us all the way back here, but did I even finish looking at the people all the way in that group? Should I bother going back? There is a thing there. I mean, we can check it out. There were a bunch of seamen, too, so were they trying to transport materials from across the sea? Like, they were just offloading it, 
And then suddenly, these bandits came to attack them because they were trying to steal hammers? Or maybe they really hate Lebiota for whatever reason. No, everybody's gone now. Okay, fine. Why don't we go check out the little settlement here then? There is a boat. Roach? Did you come from the sea? That's it, Roach. If that's the monument they're building, that's really big. So I saved group 1 and group 5. At the minimum, there's three more groups. <clears throat> what does that say? Soon, grand unveiling. We're all working on it. If they would just take to work as they take to dance and drink. Well, will you stay long? What is this? Abandoned temple to the prophet Lebiota. Oh, so it's abandoned and now they're bringing glory back to it? Hmm. Wouldn't be very nice for us to art it, would it? <laughs> I feel like people would get mad. Well, they don't have to know. Spectre in a place like this? Behind a wall? Someone must have walled some poor fellow up. Spirit can't rest in peace. Oh. I guess we'll be doing them a favor by getting them out here then. Oh, dang it. Okay, take two. Spectre in a place like this? Behind a wall? Someone must have walled some poor fellow up. Spirit can't rest in peace. This guy's really strong. I still didn't meditate, so I don't have very many swallow potions right now, but I think we should be okay if we're careful here. Great beggar. We might not have found the person who would have given us this quest yet. Maybe that's why I don't know what's going on. Oh, was that the guy's body? Spirit won't rest in peace until I bury the remains. Some sarcophagi in the first chamber. One of them could work. The words of the prophets are written on the sarcophagi. The tenebrous wilderness of Cade Merkvid. In the northwestern region of the Duchy of Tucson, past the Blesher River, there lies the forest of Cade Merkvid. A druidic sanctuary, which, as a result of treaties signed with the duchy's rulers, enjoys full autonomy in its internal affairs. The forest is one of the main reserves of the Beauclair Oak, a significant component of the local cooperage industry. With ecological balance in mind and following agreements between a Cooper's Guild and the Flaminica, the leader of the circle, oak felling in the forest is currently subject to strict supervision. In 1267, when the Flaminica granted asylum to druids to Keddu in Angren, fighting broke out within the sanctuary. The bandits who tried to escape justice in the forest were burnt alive in wicker hags and set an example. Since then, the borders of Ked Merkvid have been protected by strong magical barriers and, to be honest, I would not recommend visiting this region without an invitation from the Flaminica. From Petrin Failsand's Guide to Tucson. Ked Merkvid that was the elf place, right? Was that the same place as um the one mentioned in the excavation site that we were just at? The Great Beggar's Journal. Oh, this is... We've accidentally stumbled upon some Grandmaster armor. The Great Beggar. See this one, they don't use months here. Is it because they're elven? 7th Fan 1203. The attacks have grown more forceful. The residents of the nearby village who oppose my presence become more aggressive by the day. They do not like that I speak the truth about their former deities. They cannot understand. They will only find salvation in Lebiota. They threaten me with death. But if I am to die for Lebiota, if that is the destiny the prophet has marked out for me, I shall fulfill it with a broad smile on my face. The 14th. I have just parted with a most marvelous guest, a true convert, a man of extraordinary yearning for truth and faith. He is called Merton and was once a witcher, but has abandoned that dishonorable trade and embarked on the path of truth. 
We spoke at length and sat together for hours in meditation and prayer. To better honor Lebiota, he left behind here many goods which symbolize his attachment to his former life. He has made great progress. Oh, if only all the disciples of Lebiota were so fervent in their faith, this world would be a better place. Merton confessed to me the bitter truth about the foul deeds he had wrought in his past life. I told him, if he is to obtain cleansing, he must go to the hidden chapel. Reaching this bleak place, which is carved out of rock and ridden with dangerous creatures, will in itself constitute a challenge and trial. If Lebiota lets him enter the chapel's confines, it means he has forgiven his sins, his crimes. And so Merton went, let Lebiota guide his feet. The 19th. My fate is sealed. I shall die for my faith, for truth, for Lebiota. This night, folk from the village, a band of drunken thugs, attack the temple. With hate and malice on their breath, they cry that since I am the great beggar, I should now beg Lebiota for mercy. They looted the temple of all its treasures, thankfully leaving the books which they deemed worthless, and walled me in to wither in a sealed tomb. If Lebiota does not send me help, I will die here. May my bones bear witness to his glory. Even until the very end, he chose to believe in Lebiota. Green to blue. We've accidentally stumbled on another part of the Witcher Merton's journey. I'm guessing these jewelry things are offerings to the great Lebiota. That shield that we just picked up, I'm guessing we can put it in our house. That would be nice. This, uh, the journal was written in 1203. What year is it now again? It's like... 1271 or something? So it happened over 50 years ago. And now, oddly enough, people are looking to restore the temple again. The Great Lebiota. Maybe someday someone's gonna wreck it, and then later on someone's gonna want to rebuild it again. Who knows? So the cave with the hidden chapel. Oh, that's for the scavenger hunt. What about the sarcophagus? 40. Find an empty sarcophagus and place the bones in it. It's actually right nearby. Within? Was there more here or... Oh, you mean like one of these. Ready. Soul should rest in peace now. That would be nice. <laughs> On the other hand, I'll loot this one. It's probably seven years too late, but hopefully he'll have some peace now. Be gone for my now what's sight. going on in the rest of this place here? This monument is new. They didn't have it before. And verily I say unto you, if men were but to let the prophet Lepiota's teachings into their hearts, this world would be a more pleasing place. A job Thus is like a lady. You can always get a new one. Oh, prophet Lepiota. Oh, prophet Lepiota. The guy oh, next to him prophet isn't even Lepiota. listening. I swear to live according to thy teachings. <laughs> my I swear to live so according to thy teachings. I cannot hold my tools. And never to stray from this straight and narrow path. What are you doing? Hast wrought for us. And oh, he's like carrying something, but we can't see the thing. <laughs> which thou hast wrought for oh, us. Could I ever use a nap? If we get closer to the construction here. <laughs> Can we learn more? Fetch this empty dead. Sweep up here. Scribe. The camp of people working on this. Yes, a face no ointment could help. Architect. Welcome. How long are you guys gonna be building this for? Do you need me to get the other groups of people for you, or are you guys gonna be okay? My regards. Oh. Huh. Soon. Soon. Hey, there's some stairs. Or uh, ladders. Are we allowed to climb up, or...? I see ladders on the second floor, but how do we get up there to begin with? I don't know. Maybe it's best for us to not disturb their work. A return to traditional values and morals. That 
Okay. Let's make it daytime again. Finding the other group put it at night again, but it's really much better for us to travel during the day, isn't it? And what I'm gonna do is take the boat right here. If I see that tittering tat again, I swear it, I'll scratch her eyes out. <laughs> Thank you for lending me your boat. And I will be traveling all the way across the water to the Wine Wars, Belgard. This is going to be an auction house, and we don't really know why we're going there. We don't know what we're doing. They're hiring a whole bunch of other people. Oh, I can't see it! No, you gotta let me read it! <laughs> okay, does that mean that there's spots that I didn't look at yet? Well, I guess I'll check it out. Really quickly. Who authorized this? Anna Henrietta? I wonder if Tucson has like um official religion. Be gone from my sight. Rude. During the reign of Duchess Caroberta, Tucson was visited by a certain disciple of Prophet Lebiota named Plegmund. His words and deeds, which included miracles, were so persuasive. Soon, nearly the entire duchy had converted to the new faith. They crowned this outburst of religiosity with the construction of a temple dedicated to the prophet, but that was not enough for Plegmund. He convinced the Duchess to build a statue of Lebiota, the likes of which the world had never seen. Wait, but this is during the reign of Duchess Caroberta. So in addition to the abandoned temple, there used to be a statue here too, but for some reason, it's gone now. I'm guessing it was probably vandalized, just like the temple. But for some reason, Prophet Lebiota has recently been gaining popularity again in Tucson, and they're rebuilding all of this. I'm guessing that's how it sort of happened. Are Melita Lay and Prophet Lebiota at odds? I'm actually not too sure. Aside from that one statue in The Witcher 1 that we saw of Melita Lay, I don't think we've really seen a proper good statue of Melita Lay around anywhere. Like, you know the one with three faces? One standing for uh, fertility, one standing for something else, and something else. That one? The one that we found in the church in Vizima. <gasps> Tucson Office of Internal Revenue! It's the IRS! I placed the first bid! But I made the best offer! Mademoiselle, Monsieur, we must remain calm. For four generations, that is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgar currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. What about me? I own a vineyard. <laughs> Well, happy? This is your fault! Mine? You're deranged, woman! Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? A witcher. So no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you speak the truth, brother. Wait, did you say witcher? Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home. 
at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium infested with monsters. My steward gone missing with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. What? Uh, bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Why do you want to buy a new vineyard when your old one has that many problems? Could look into it, but not for free. That goes without saying. What is your rate? You can afford it, right? Holy crap! Whoa, why is the range so big? 900? Uh, I'll try for 900 on the dot. Could you not reduce it to shave? <gasps> He's not even that annoyed. Okay. How about that? Could you not reduce it to shave? Okay, he is kind of annoyed now. How about that? Could you not <laughs> reduce it to shave? I see your money and I want it. All right. Good? That sounds fair. Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. What about the lady? Can we help the lady too? Sure can. Psst. You're a witcher, yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre, Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with a dashing gaze. The fair face. Then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all besides the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. Hmm. Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths. And strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgart. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. Okay. Yeah, money makes the world go around. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not an amount I can afford. Okay, well, he's paying me 802. If you give me. He, she was pretty annoyed already, halfway annoyed. If you gave me 900, or even 890, I guess. I sense we're close. Very close. 850? Any less, and it won't really be worth it for me. Fine. Settled. Okay. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. They're like fire and water. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. Can I really only do one first, or...? Oh, the quest completed. Ah. Wine Wars Coronada. This is the one in the... Wait, so this is both of them? Coronada Vineyard? No, no, no. Wine Wars Vermentino. That's the ladies. This is the guys. Maybe it matters which one I complete first, but I can do both of them. I don't know, does it really matter? Coronada? Coronada? How do I deal with your problem of your herbalist getting kidnapped? <laughs> That's not really something I can do, right? 
Vermentino. Vermentino. Okay, well... <laughs> I told the lady I would do her first, so I guess I will. Yours seem to be a lot more widespread, though. What? Like, that's not how big your vineyard is, right? This entire area? There's another vineyard right here. Okay, well... Fine, fine. But at the very minimum, let me look around the place first. Plagman's Bridge. Plagman, the devotee of Prophet Leviota. Built during the reign of Duchess Caraberta, this bridge was meant to facilitate traffic between vineyards on opposite banks of the San Retor. It was named after a pilgrim quite popular in Tucson at the time, a certain disciple of the Prophet Leviota, who on this very spot performed one of his many miracles, traversing the river without getting his feet wet. Wow. That's fancy. Starling. Can I buy the vineyard myself? Dripping down my bum furrow. No, no, no. Master Witchet, have you any news? This vineyard, Belgard, why is it so valuable? <laughs> you are not from here, it certainly shows. Before Count Crespi fell prey to the beast, Belgard belonged to him. As a man of wealth and influence, he guided it to immense success. Brought in rare grape varieties, hired skilled workers. I shan't trouble you with unnecessary details. Suffice to say that merging Belgard with another vineyard is a sure recipe for success. Merging? Take care now. Merging vineyards, huh? So you're gonna try to leash the success off this vineyard to fix your own vineyard, even though I'm gonna go fix it right now? Well, we'll see what happens. Where is the Belgard vineyard, by the way? Kinda wanna go visit it since the it seems to be so great. True. Each time I come here, I the north I've entered must be a terribly barbaric Most land. Amusingly, the locals believe all that tribe. For instance, the giant which the knight they call Guillaume slew, they claim it was cursed. Guillaume will do anything to impress a woman. Here, all seek to make an impression through what they do. It can be interesting at times. I would not have mind if a knight were to slay a giant for me. News travels oh, fast. Sorry. Yourself. Very sorry. Widow seeks Nanny. Nanny needed for the offspring, ages four and seven, of a recently perished knight errand. Candidates should be soft on the eyes, free of vice, well-mannered and patient. Beware! Aviathrope. A dangerous aviathrope, a creature half-woman, half-oriole, has been seen near the palace at night. I've spoken to several witnesses, but the ducal guard remains deaf to my reports. Be on your guard, this may be the beast. Oh, Vivian's secret was close to getting out already. Imperial Cuisine. The Cockatrice Inn offers a wide variety of Nilfgaardian specialties. Try our delectable... hair pate? <laughs> our famous crayfish soup. And grilled vegetables harvested under the Empire's sunny skies. Affordable prices. Long live His Imperial Majesty Emir Var Emrace. Daith win Adan Ip Karn Ep Morved. The white flame dancing on the bodies of his foes, blah blah blah. Take note, take note. Young, wealthy, handsome, athletic man with no noisome habits. Seeks true, tender, soulful love. Look for him around the vineyard every Tuesday and every third Thursday. Landscape portraits. As a graduate of the famed Faculty of Applied Portraiture at Oxenford Academy, I am prepared to capture likeness on canvas with Tucson's mountainous landscapes in the background. Posing time depends on the size of painting and exactness of detail requested. Negotiable prices. Find me at the Grand Palace. Or a Grand Place. Was that the guy who painted for me? I don't know because that guy didn't have a name. Augusta Benoit. Warning! Vermentino vineyard workers diddle their own moms, and one of them does his dad, too. <laughs> I can kind of guess who left that one. Must have been the guy. Oh, hey, merchant! Can I sell you some stuff first? Greetings, traveler. Have you any needs? Mind if I glance at what you got? I would love for you to buy some stuff. We're actually getting a little bit full here. The dyes. Oh wow, the dyes are actually worth quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit being a hundred crowns. 
I mean, that is quite a bit for a random item. But do you want some broken rakes, though? Not selling you that. Not selling you that. Oh, I have a lot of goodies here. Pickaxe head. <laughs> Ladders. Notes that I can't read. Pipes. Somebody's handkerchief. An elf head. Yeah, we have a Melitale figurine, but this is the only one I've seen in the entire game. You can kind of vaguely see that it's three-headed, or uh, three-sided. <laughs> Not like a Hydra, but three different sides. You can have this stuff. Uh, maybe I'll keep the spoons. I don't know, kind of attached to it. Oh, by the way, it seems like I've missed something in the spoon place and I should be going back sometime to check it out. I will make a trip once I am in the area again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Do you want this stuff? Okay, zero. Perfect. Goodbye. So long. Good luck on the path. Thank you. Everybody knows about the path, huh? This True. Each time now, I come madame, here, I yeah. we shall never get anywhere in this manner. Okay. This is just actually the revenue office, and if you want to buy a vineyard, this is where you go. So it's not an actual town, but things are happening here anyway. Oh, there's a question mark here. Empty wine bottles. Leftovers. Hello? Oh, Witcher Geralt! The Duquesa's darling! Are you jealous? Do you want to be the Duquesa's darling too? I'm sorry, not everybody can be. And actually, even I'm not the Duquesa's darling. That may be one Viscount Julian. <laughs> um, what am I doing here? Wine bottles? Yes, there are some empty wine bottles, but what can I... Well, uh, Leave me we in were. peace, Witcher. A witcher's come round to take a crack at the beast. I wonder what the old lady's fixing for supper. I feel like I should be doing something here in relation to the statue or something. They mentioned the empty wine bottles, but we can't really examine them. And there's some barrels. Mm. They say a great deal about you, Witcher. And whisper even more. We got a marker here, but... Here you can solve a problem related to the construction of Lebiota's statue. So how do I solve this problem here? They say a great deal about you, Witcher. And whisper even more. Can outsiders sign up? Or is this a closed event? Mind your manners. Oh! You good! Oh wow, we had to start a fight here! At least I can use Quen here though. Wait, am I gonna be beating this guy up for real? I'll cheat, I'll eat, because I can. <laughs> if you're in the bushes, I can't really see you. Oh, there's multiple now! What? I'm just scared of killing that guy if I get him down to low health. So maybe I'll focus on this guy for now. Especially since that guy doesn't seem like he's coming over anyway. I gotta be careful about myself though, because I'm not invincible. <laughs> you can't double team me like this! Seems this is your end, Master Witcher! It may be. It may very well be. The quest updated in the middle of that guy. Oh, mm. you good. I don't want to kill him. Saint Lebioda sent you. I must now repair my wagon. They await me at the building site. So long. No, it's gonna make it nighttime again. 
Is this really necessary? Oh, is the statue changing? I took the lard of the Duquesa herself. I think so. We never got to see it when it wasn't completed, but now it's three fifths completed, maybe. Cool. Well, it's sunsetting right now. It's kind of pretty, so I don't mind traveling like this. But we do got to get to one of the vineyard locations so we can start fixing people's problems. It keeps changing my quest. We got to get back to Tucson sometime, probably, to sell some stuff. Wine Wars. Fairly close by. The closest one is pretty close to us. But also apparently across the river. Vermentino Vineyard. We're already in the area. Now what problems did this lady have again? Nothing about an herbalist being kidnapped. At the very least. <laughs> Hidden treasure. Oh, bandits? Rod fiend! Tony Owl would be good here, and Necrophage Oil. These Rod Fiends look a little bit funny. Don't they? The color scheme seems a little bit different than usual. Oh! Oh! I forgot! <laughs> oh, that was so close. This isn't something I can forget about. If I forget it again, it's gonna be my death. Hey, they've got some really nice flowers here. Oh. Too bad the rock beans have ruined it. Damn. Damn is right. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's the raw fiend. I thought that was somebody's body cut in half. August Augustin Tonnelier? Tonnelier? Thick journal written in a steady hand. The last pages, however, contain different handwriting, full of blots and crossed out words. A mysterious gentleman has come to me, asking whether I would agree to sell him the stock of barrels we are preparing for the new wine variety. I refused him curtly, for I know how much the new wine means to Miss Matilda, and how much depends on this wine's success. After all, things have been very tight at the vineyard these last days. This extremely mysterious gentleman has turned out to be equally extremely wealthy. He came to me again with a very hefty pouch. Bum blast it. It will be very hard to refuse him if he puts me to that trial again. Is it the other guy? Today, I forgot to lock the gates of the barrel storehouse. I'm very ashamed, but what could I do? Miss Matilda is crushed. I won't touch that coin until all has settled. Oh. I've hidden a sack, stuffed with Nilfgaardian florins in the sunflower fields. I would not want someone to find such a fortune in my home. He has paid me another visit. This time, he wanted me to procure him the recipe for the new wine. I do have some honor. Barrels are one thing. I can make new ones, perhaps even better ones, but the recipe for the wine... I'd said I'd sooner die, and then he gave me the strange look, sent shivers down my spine. I think I'd best barricade my doors this night. And die he did. Don't take candy from a stranger. Is it really the guy that we saw, though? I forgot his name already, but... He didn't really strike me as the kind of guy who would kill people. So maybe there is a third person here? Who's doing all of this? A chest hidden in the sunflower field. Oh, it's actually quite far away. Far enough to the point that it would be closer for me to get to the question mark here. Okay. Just wonderful. Wolves? Prophet Lebiota's footsteps yet again. Dang, we'll have this whole statue built before we even get out of here. 
No. Okay, I know you guys. It's beast oil, right? Actually, though, I finished already, so... I don't look around. Anybody here? Oh, no. Damn. Ripped to shreds. By wolves? Deep prints. Blood. Just trying to get away. What's that really big foot? That doesn't seem like a wolf or a person. Yeah, what the heck? There's a really big foot here. Kind of looks like a claw. Did you want me to look at something in particular here or? Because it just kind of stops. But I also can't really examine it. Oh, you've crossed the river, right? Yes. The clues are a little bit harder to Damn follow it. at nighttime. Spriggan! Oh! It's freezing. But it's still teleporting fine. Does the freezing kind of go against... Oh my gosh, my armor. If I want to... Igni it? Doesn't seem so. Hey, slow down. You're basically frozen already. No? Something behind these roots. So that was what the gigantic footstep was. Oh, it's really time for me to get back to a town soon. I've never had this armor break before, have I? Dang. Well, it's not breaking, but still. 15? How about my leg armor? 81? 83? 92? I guess the chest armor breaks the fastest because that's where I get hit. Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, Sir Witcher. Let Piotr keep you in his care. Eh, yeah, they've made a daytime for me again. Yeah, now we're only missing the head portion. Cool. The last group must be around here somewhere too, because they're all trying to bring the pieces over to the monument, right? So maybe it's here, maybe it's this one, maybe it's that one. But eventually, eventually we'll come across it. Now back to the treasure in this field here. This is actually quite far. A little bit uncharacteristic of treasure hunts. Usually, they tend to be pretty close by to the notes we find. Sunflower seeds? Excuse me, sorry. This is a huge vineyard. Bushel of grapes is more a burden than that steel of yours. Darn steadily, my camelac aches something fierce. Oh wow! Wait, this area is actually huge. La, 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 la. I feel like it's a lot bigger than my vineyard. Our knights errant. Uh, They're so I'd heroic. Sweat. We had something some here. To do their work. Oh. <laughs> Eighty-three orans. They're so heroic, we had to summon a witcher to do their work. I came here all the way for 83 orans. Oh well. There's more problems we have to fix here though, right? Where is the closest one? They are so far apart. 
Is that even still really part of the vineyard? Really? Well, might as well go figure it out. Roach? Gotta come over here, buddy. Wow, they even have some windmills here. I don't think we've ever seen this kind of windmill here before. Hey, the fairy cream of the land's chivalry has come Very nice. Me. A bit sour, that cream Does that mean that Tucson so is pretty windy then? We're well, just looking around, the trees are shaking. But not as much as they sometimes do. Because sometimes the trees start going insane and they're like... <sighs> and it's like violently sloshing around everywhere. What? Oh no, god, not you guys again. You guys would be... Actually, I have no idea. Maybe we should just look it up. I'm guessing it's relict? Archispores. No. Archispores are filed under... What? Hybrids? They should be at the top because A. Cursed ones. Cursed oil. Okay. Whoa! Yes. Cursed oil as well as golden oriole. And Tony Owl. Uh. No, stay around here. Don't go. Thank you. Whoa, it's all poisony looking here. That's not good. Yeah, so this is its natural habitat, right? These grounds and the dirt. But earlier, during that excavation site, it could still come out, but it couldn't really do the traveling thing. Ugh. People have died here. I wonder if there's a limit to how far the Archospores can physically travel. Like, they can travel between this little spot because that's how far their roots go? Is that why? Mm, looks like an Archospore killed him. It's not like if an Archospore wants to go to Velen or something, it can do that, right? Because the roots don't go that far. Letter on elegant stationery. Mm, a letter and a key. In a place like this? Oh, that'd be interesting. Read these orders carefully, for I will not tolerate any blunders. Report to the agreed upon location tomorrow and collect the next delivery of seedlings. We must intensify our efforts to infest Vermentino. <gasps> be at pains to arrive on time, for the team from the other vineyard will be waiting. See. P.S. Do not forget the key. Car Roberta? The other vineyard? Apparently someone's sabotaging operations at Fermentino. But the letter doesn't say who. Hmm. Need to keep looking. Could still find out. We do have a suspect already. Oh, not Car Roberta. Coronada. Yeah, Car Roberta was the Duchess. Died to a Archispore. So they didn't successfully infest the wine then. Because they died here before that got to happen. Okay. And if we want to learn more, we would have to go to one of the other problem sites of Vermentino. Hmm, they're all so far apart. <laughs> 